Good evening, friends, and welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what you're looking at here is a little setup that I'm going to use to give you a lesson in resonance and reactive power, or VARs. Okay, so this is one of my wireless transmitters. It's uh, basically a Royer oscillator with two MOSFETs and a tuned circuit made out of these capacitors and this loop. I've put in a 0 0.51 ohm 10 watt resistor there to act as a current viewing resistor and I have two oscilloscope probes hooked up across the output. One is hooked up directly across the output to measure the voltage that's being applied to this special trifiler, tinsel trifiler loop and the other one is simply across the current viewing resistor in the usual way so we'll measure the voltage drop across that resistor which of course then is equal to the current in this ring right got that and then over here well uh, here's the power supply which is a single 12 volt battery and then over here I have the input parameters I got the wires plugged in. Voltage and current. The readings on there. Yeah. Okay. So those, this is going to be the input voltage and current, which is just straight DC. Okay. Now I can't leave this thing on for very long because this is only a 10 watt resistor, and uh, we're giving the thing a bit more than 10 watts, as you'll see. Okay. So the scope probes now go over to the old uh, Tektronix oscilloscope. This is where the baselines are for both channels. Um, this channel here, the top channel, is going to be the voltage, and it's at 20 volts per division. You can see that. We're using a 10x attenuated probe, DC coupled. The other channel, the bottom channel, this one down here, is going to be the current. We're going to be looking at that at 5 volts per division with the 10x attenuated probe and also uh, DC coupled and then I have another cable going over to the frequency counter over here just to get a reading on the frequency but it's going to be about 633 or 640 hertz, uh, kilohertz. Okay, are we ready? Alright, I'm going to turn it on. That's the pilot light. Here you can see the input voltage and current. This battery is not very, very well charged so you can see the voltage dropping. Anyway, that's DC input, and then here are the voltage and current waveforms. This is the voltage, and you can that's at 20 volts per division, so you can see here we have uh, about 68 volts peak to peak there on that sinusoid, and then here is the current, the voltage drop across that 0.51 ohm resistor at 5 volts per division. And you can see that that's 11 volts peak to peak there, okay? And uh, so 11 volts drop across a 0.51 ohm resistor is 21.6 amps peak to peak. Now, of course, that's a an inductive resistor, and uh, I don't know what its uh, actual impedance is at 600. And uh, what? What was the frequency? Let's see if we can get a reading here. 628 kilohertz. Oh, wait a minute. That's not right. There we go. 627 kilohertz and uh, dropping as the supply voltage drops. Okay. All right, time to do a little bit of math. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait a minute. Here's the summary of uh, typical results that I just took a few moments before I did this video. Thank you for watching.